All right, so lesson 72 is on fractions chart and multiplying three fractions. So here we have the three steps you take when you're working with fractions. Step one, you turn it into the correct shape, which is writing fractions with common denominators if you're adding and subtracting, or if you're multiplying or dividing, you need to write numbers in a fraction form. So changing improper fractions or changing mixed numbers to improper fractions. Then you need to operate. So that's adding or subtracting the numerators if you're adding or subtracting. With multiplying and dividing, you first want to cancel because it's easiest to cancel first. If you're dividing, you need to find the reciprocal and then cancel the numbers. Okay, so remember flip and multiply. Then we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. Then the last step is simplifying and we reduce fractions, always reduce, and then convert to an improper fraction if appropriate. So here we have our problem. We have two-thirds times one and three-fifths times three-fourths. So I'm going to need to change these into the correct form. Two-thirds stays the same. I need to change one and three-fifths to an improper fraction. So I'm going to do the shortcut. One times five is five, plus three is eight. So it's going to be eight-fifths, and then three-fourths stays the same. Okay, and we're going to multiply those. Now before I do anything, I want to cancel. It's a lot easier to cancel now than later. So I'm going to look. What can I cancel? Well, the three and the three I can cancel. The 4 and the 8 I can cancel. 4 becomes a 1. 8 becomes a 2. And those become 1s. So I'm left with 2 over 1 times 2 over 5 times 1 over 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 5 times 1 is 5. So my answer is 4 fifths. Okay. Let's do one more. Here we have 2 thirds times 4 fifths times 3 eighths. Remember these symbols here are multiplication symbols. So we can just go ahead and, and cancel first. So let's see what we can cancel. Well, I can cancel the threes. Threes are the same. Threes become ones. Okay. I can cancel the eight and the four. Four becomes a one. Eight becomes a two. So I'm, and now I can also cancel this two and this two. Both those become ones. So I'm left with one over one. Rewrite it so you can see. One over one times one over five times one over one. So my answer will be one fifth. Uh, good luck on your homework.